Good morning, artists. Today we are going to be looking at some royal hats, and we're going to study the forms and the different shapes that we see in these royal hats, and then you're going to get a chance to make a portrait, and you're going to sculpt the hat from paper. So many, 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 many times you see big, beautiful royal hats being worn at things called derbies or an ascot. These are horse races, and oftentimes at horse races, people will get very dressed up, and they will put on a very fancy hat to wear to the race for that day. So this project is kind of inspired by some of those hats that you might see being worn at these fancy, fancy horse races. So we are going to start today by drawing the face. Okay, so we're gonna make kind of a U shape like this. Okay, for the face. And then I'm going to make the nose like that. Okay, it was just a line coming down and then the loop. Okay, and then from this part of the nose, I can curve to make the eye. Okay, and then the other eye will be here, like that. Okay, so this is sort of the top of the eye. And then I'm gonna bring the eye down a little bit right there, where I'm putting those dots, that's the corner of my eye. So now I'm making a curved crescent, like football shape, like this, okay. All right, and that's the shape for the eyes. Now in this picture, I chose to do the eyes closed, but for this one, I think I'm gonna have them be open. So I'm gonna put the eyeball inside, okay. And then the pupil like that, okay? And I can do a little more work on the eyebrows if I want, trying to make them a little bigger and more interesting, bushier. Okay. Put some eyelashes on, like this, just little short strokes for lashes. Okay, I can color the eyes, make these eyes green today, ooh. And the pupils, remember, we're gonna color the pupils in black. Right now I'm coloring in the iris. And when I do the pupils, I'm gonna leave, I'm coming a little closer. I'm gonna leave a piece of that center circle here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that white. So, let's see. Oh, hello, Miss Grace. Get the black marker. Okay, come in a little closer. And I'm going to there we go, color it in a bit, but leave some of it white. Color it in a bit, but leave some white. Okay, all right. So now we have the face started, and I'm going to do the lips. I'm gonna do the lips a little bit sassy, like they're curved, like there's like a smirk on their face. So I'm gonna make kind of a curved line like this. Okay, and then I'll do the top lip, which is sort of like the letter M shape, and then the bottom lip, like that, kind of like there. Mm, mm. And they're like pursing their lips a little bit. Okay, and then I can put the neck like that. And now for the hair, the hair is super fun. So you can choose any style you want to do for the hair, but keep in mind that the hat is gonna come on top in a minute. So I'm just going to choose um, something simple. I gotta bring the forehead up a bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna have the hair be sort of short. But with bangs, I'm gonna do some bangs like that. Okay, and maybe there's some, I like the idea of there being braids in this hair, so I'm doing that repeating X pattern to make it look like braids. Okay. Maybe I need a darker marker so that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe some of the braids will be brown, black. So I'm just doing like, for braids, I just do a repeated X like this. X is in a line going up to make it look like braids. And then I'm gonna do watercolor over top of this. Get okay, some curly hair. All right, so I've got this started. Now it's time to paint. I'm gonna take my watercolor palette right here and I'm gonna start to paint the face. I'm gonna do 
skin tone color. Be careful around the eyes because we want to make sure we keep the whites of the eyes there. Okay. Getting my brush wet as I'm painting. And I'm adding in the brown skin tone. And I'll paint the neck too. Okay, and then I'm also going to paint the background. And when I do my background, I want to create something called contrast which is a strong difference in color. So, for example, if I'm doing the background green, then I don't want to make the hat green as well, because I want the hat to really pop out, stand out. So I want to pick a color that's very different from green. So today, I'm going to paint my background a nice blue, and then i got to think to myself, okay, what color do I want to make the hat so that I create a sense of contrast? between the hat and the background. Hmm, I could do like a popping pink. I have a lot of options available because I have a lot of different colors for construction paper. So it kind of depends on, you know, how much paper you have at home. Just finishing up the skin tone right now, working my way around the eyes. And feel free to pause the video if at any point I'm going too fast. I keep getting my brush wet as I'm painting because I'm using watercolors. Okay. There's the face, and now I can paint in my lips as well. So I'm going to switch to some red. Lips. Okay. Like that. All right, now I can paint the hair, and maybe I'm going to do the hair you know, like a nice dark brown. And the nice thing about watercolors is when they dry, you can also draw on top of them. So you can wait for the hair to dry, and then you can add more details in afterwards once it dries. Okay. And like I wanted to do some, there, some bangs. So I'm just taking my brush and I'm getting it, putting it in a nice dark brown. I'm doing strokes down for the bangs. Maybe I'll do some of the bangs with marker too in a minute once the watercolor dries. And you do not have to make yours the same as mine. We all paint and we all draw differently, so feel free to make your portrait of a Royal Derby attendee different. All right, you could do blue hair, you could do green hair, it's up to you, you are the artist. Now I've done the hair, and now I'm going to do the background. I'm going to pick blue. I'm going to pick blue for my background this time. So I'm going to start to paint everything in the background behind my person. I think I need to name this person. I'm going to call him, oh, is it a him or a her? Hmm, good question. I think it's a her today. I'm going to call her Lady Ashley. Lady Ashley of Winter. And she is going to the Royal Derby today, and she needs the fanciest hat of all. Yes, and this is her husband, Lord Anthony of Stormsbord. And he has a very nice hat on today, too. But she has to have an even better hat. So I've got to top that hat that I did before. Okay, lots of blue up in the background. So now because my background is blue, I think I'm going to pick a red hat for the Lady Ashley. She's gonna have a red hat on top of her head. Finishing up the background. And I'm painting a little fast because I want to make sure we get through to all the steps of this project. Oopsies, we got a little runaway. We don't want that. No, no, no. This is blue. Okay. Woohoo! So, 
I've got the face, the portrait done, and I have drawn the face. Now it's time to make the hat. So I've got my red construction paper here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of place it over top of the face a little bit, just so I can get a sense of size for the hat. So I'm gonna draw the brim first, like this. It's the brim of the hat, you know, the, this part that kind of sticks out. And then I'm gonna do a little shape like that on top, cap shape. Okay, and you can choose a different shape for your hat if you want to. I just happen to like this one. Okay, next step, I'm going to cut it out like this. Cut your hat out. Okay, there's my hat. And then I am going to glue it onto the head and then I will start to make all of the fun decorative pieces with strips of paper to kind of create this very elaborate Royal Derby hat. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in the next video.